okay so <coughs> so here is a example okay what you have taken is again a, a multi story building where there is uh, all of these activities are going on okay uh, bending tying placing form work you know fixing scaffolds and the, the the team that did this chose to classify value added as these activities here you can see bending rebar tying rebar placing fixing all of that non value added but necessary as the activities you can see here instructions holding ladder moving all of these are necessary and non value added as waiting standing idle using mobile all of these as non value added okay and the we are now looking at the three methods if you remember there is a random approach there is a periodic approach and a continuous approach this is the format they used okay again this is only a suggested format now in this format they basically took they have a start time end time of when the the sampling is done uh, for each sample they have you know i would say sample 1 i would say you know i have what kind of value added work so va1 might co might correspond to bending rebar va2 might correspond to tying rebar okay that is what you see here these are all the value added categories the non value added categories and the non value added but necessary categories and as and when i make an observation for a sample i would make something like this okay i might be the third observation is this this is the way i would go at the end of it i would have sampled for my time period which i want to do and i will say total number of observations in each category okay is is, is say a b c and or or i could add the total value added con observations total non value added and then in each category i can get my percentages okay i will show you an example so here is uh, something you might not be able to see that really clearly but basically this is this is a, a indicator of what what we just showed with a filled out form and ultimately there are percentages that will come so for example here 18 percent is here 35 percent 47 percent okay that is coming from the your 18 35 and 47 percent is what i got as a so to do this i have to observe the site categorize as i see people what they are doing at the end take a statistic of what is happening are there any questions on this because this always causes some amount of clarifications are required sir suppose the activity is long long yes yeah. so and the random time interval that we are say, taking the samples so yeah so remember this is not activity this is a tour of a site i am not waiting at an activity and waiting for it to finish i am walking my site and i am categorizing people as i am walking we will come to the crew based sample later ok this is right now a tour based sample I am walking the site I am not worrying about activity I am only I know that see based on my initial planning I know these activities are occurring that is why I am doing this this detailed categories are based on that but I am not waiting for somebody to finish an activity or finish the work or anything it is just a sample ok any other questions. No, that is what. So, this is this is very relevant. You have to have an understanding on what is NVA and what is NVA. Okay? You have to have a standard categorization and uh, in the Indian context, because we have helpers, what do helpers mostly do? NVA. NVA. Okay, so, they contribute a lot to the NVA on our sites. Okay, if I only had uh, you know skilled workers with minimum helpers, then the NVAN proportion would be reduced for us. But we have found over the years that this NVAN becomes high because we have the large, we tend to have more helpers on our side, okay, large, more helpers than most of the other sites. Okay, so, for the smallest thing a helper is required, move a tool, move this, move the wheelbarrow, move that, so it contributes to NVA. Okay, but this categorizing between NVAN and NV, NVA is, is important. Any other question? Sir, suppose the supervisor comes and hmm. 
Ma, right, very good question. Okay, so so this is I wanted to take this. I'm was hoping this question would come up. So this is where we are talking about uh, about even even in the beginning. I you know remember I said inform the workers. So if a worker is informed and they are going to change the work pattern because they are being observed. Okay, so there is a there is a formal name to this effect. It's called the Hawthorne effect. Okay, because so if somebody is, knows they are being observed and they change the work pattern, okay, then your your sampling goes wrong. Okay, now so there is an uh, there is please so refer to this called the Hawthorne studies. This is an impact that was uh, observed many about 1930s when they tried to measure productivity, you know, with using an experiment group and a control group. Now, the only pro pro the, the difference here is. Yes, if the worker is idle because they want to be idle and they are purposely idle, this will have an impact. But if the worker is idle because there is no materials, there is no tool, there is no instruction, there is no work phase, then what happens? There won't be an impact. I mean, uh, we have also seen, we go with a video camera, we put the video camera in front of the crew, the crew will start acting very busy for some time. Okay? And then after some time, there is no bricks. What can they be busy with? They'll be moving brick from here to here, here to here, here to here. So it doesn't uh, add too much, okay? And after some time, they also get used to the camera and say, anyway, they know what you are doing. It goes back to so there might be a little bit of a initial activity increase, but we have seen at levels of if the if there are root causes which are beyond the control of the worker, and most of the time there are root causes beyond the control, of the worker. okay? But these are good questions. Any more? Okay, so <clears throat> when you break up all of that, you find this is where the uh, the uh, the categories were. So again, standing idle was a large amount. Okay, tying rebar was this. You you now get the idea, right? So you categorize into this, and this is what this is how the activities broke up. And you can see standing and sitting idle are taken a large part of the non-value added. Get taking instructions and curing. Now, is curing value added, non value added, but necessary? How do you look at it? I can look at it why do I want to put water and cloth and this and that? Can I put some kind of a curing compound and do it you know much faster without all this labor? Might be people will say no, more expensive, but looking at the number of labor that is involved in curing might be worth it today because labor is not cheap. So these are evaluations you have to do. Okay, it's not not an easy question to answer straight away, but very relevant. Okay, so you can see now there's a detailed breakdown in categories. Okay, and if you want to go to this level, the question should be asked: Why is people standing idle so much of the time? Okay, now we take the same uh, approach. Like I said, a period, random is what we recommend. But sometimes people say, "Look, I don't know how to do random." Then we say, "Okay, for, for at least till you are till you get comfortable, you do periodic. That is, you don't say I'm going to watch it in a random thing. I, you say that, look, every probably 10 seconds you make an observation. Just periodic, just just for your comfort. It's not statistically valid. It is just for your to get it. And we have found in our classes when we do, people even if we say random, people invariably do a periodic." Okay, because that's somehow programmed. You have to untrain yourself to that. So, so just to document it, you do a periodic, and you will find that uh, that okay, you will you will find that there isn't too much difference. Okay, I'm going to kind of skip. So, you will find very similar results here, and you will find that between random and periodic, there will be some difference because the sampling pattern is different. Okay, but generally it is not, I mean whether 18 percent or 23 percent, both are of value added work is poor. So to bring about awareness into that project manager or into the site team that look your value added is so low or non value added 35, that 4 5 percent error will be there based on the, on the sampling error will be there. Okay, but random is easier to do. I am sorry, random is easier to do if you know how to randomize. 
okay otherwise also we have found this is okay if you want to do this that the difference is not too much that you can do it there isn't for the kind of errors which we are we are not trying to do 0.1% or 0.2% 4 5% of error is part of our accepted error anyone thinks that's too much in construction for this kind of a tool it's okay okay even when we go in the productivity measurement system well, how much error do you think there is daily progress report it will be at similar error is daily progress report accurate to the 0.1 cubic meter of measurement no okay so there are errors and this level of error is acceptable why don't we want to go for a higher lower percentage of error it will consume a lot more resources okay and the outcome you get out of it is not going to be anything more valuable okay so so you have to go this is basically this is why the heuristic can and uh, this aspect is okay okay and so you can see this is what is contributing use of mobiles all of this is contributing to this problem 